common enemy is. Yeah. We are not going to stay quiet like how it was during 9-11. No, we're going to shut us down. down. They try to make us think that we're just going to be the Bengalis and South Asians staying back in our own homes and just talk about what's happening in our homes. But no, we're going to bring it to the streets. We're going to bring it to our campuses. We're going to bring it to our workplaces. Or even Zionist normalization going on. You better believe that one is going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah. even worse. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so we're doing this real quick. The thing was, we were supposed to pull up on them. <laughs> they ain't not even there. They were supposed to be at the pool. <laughs> You know, and if it's not us, it's going to be somebody else. Yeah. Because we know it's not an individual effort. It's never an individual effort. It's always coming together what makes it a lot stronger, you know? We know hearing this. We've seen the power of what happens when people come together. And what we need to do is go back to our hoods.
We have a good reason. It's the people. Yeah. Yeah. Israel, go to hell. Israel, go to hell. It is right to rebel. It is right to rebel. Israel, go to hell. Israel, go to hell. Israel, go to hell. There is only one solution. There is only one solution. It defies our revolution. It defies our revolution. There is only one solution. There is only one solution. Before World War II, Americans didn't pay no taxes. CIA was created, and who created it? ISIS, who created it? These Zionist motherfuckers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From then on, from 2% to 5% to 10%, they're taking 40% of our fucking taxes. We fucking Americans, bro. Where the fuck you at? Wake the fuck up. Stop paying taxes and fuck Israel. Yeah. 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 Woo! Zionists, man. Yeah. They just suck my Woo! dick. Yeah. Nah, I get what you mean by the analogy, that's MD. Oh. Be real. 